So. Hello everyone. Um, today I want to show a little bit more that I showed last week because I know some of it was missing in the video. Um, I was talking about, I had just put this in, and this is just temporarily mounted, uh, the cyclic control. And uh, when you move the cyclic, that moves the swash plate here. Hopefully you can see it in the video this time. Um, but when you move it left or uh, forward and back, it, sw it moves the swash plate, changes the pitch uh, link rods to the rotor blades, and changes the pitch. And then you got your left and right. And then the other thing, let me just move this on the side maybe. Uh, we got uh, collective, and the collective, I guess I'll put that even here. The collective moves the swash plate up and down without tilting it. And that's used for pulling into a rotor for climbing where you lift it. So as you can see, that moves uh, in, uh, directly with the swash plate. Um, so now uh, I want to just continue with some of the other things I've done. I finished, um, and I got a cameraman here today so I might have to direct them around here a little bit. Uh, you can come over here. Um, I put, uh, uh, I finished up the fuel pump. That This has been here, but there was some wiring harnesses that I had to make um, because the wire, the harness had just stopped here and I had to uh, tack in some wires down there and and plug them into the pump and uh, that's all done and I labeled the wires and I, I know I mentioned that about pumps A and B. Uh, a on this airframe is going to be pump one and B is pump two and um, that uh, got cleared up for me on the way that goes. Uh, I'm waiting for a check valve. There's going to be a, a check valve. Let me back up a little bit. Uh, there's a check valve that goes in here and uh, next to the filter. And then that, of course, goes down to the, to the pump. Uh, I got my notes here. Uh, some of the other things I was uh, doing is hooking up. Uh, you can back up. I put in the rudder pedals here. And... That uh, that hooks to a push pull rod that goes all the way back to a bell crank here. Then it goes up to uh, a couple bell cranks. Okay, go back again. And what I'm going to do is uh, direct it on the, the pedals there. And uh, as you push the pedals, it's going to change the pitch on the tail rotor blade. So as you can see, what I'm doing here, you got your pilot and co-pilot pedals. Okay, um, one of the other things, let me walk around this side. Um, I did, I don't think I had this in here in the last video, but I put the overflow bottle in, and um, cameraman, you can come over here. I put this oil pump in here now. This oil pump, uh, it, it's belt driven to the tail rotor shaft. And that's going to be inside the boom, and that might uh, it might be a couple weeks yet before I start putting that on. I'm trying to finish up all these fuel lines and stuff. But uh, this pump here, it got hoses on that goes down to a cooler, and it actually runs oil through the main rotor gearbox here, and helps lubricate it and cool it. And uh, let's see, um, I'm going to show you a little bit back up cameraman. I'm going to grab a fuel tank here and just lay it up and show you where that actually goes. Um, there's two of these fuel tanks that are going to go right in this area. And then uh, I'm going to just set them here. They're going to just loosely so you can see. And then one of the, the fuel hoses that's going to attach up here there's going to be some clamps up here, and then there, that's a return fuel line that's going to go on both sides, both tanks. So that's a little bit of how that goes, and that fuel line comes right off the fuel injector over here, or fuel pump. So um, let me get this back down out of the way. And so, um, i got to find my notes. Here we go. Uh, so the fuel tank... 
And then one of the other projects I'm going to be doing here shortly is there, there's some wires here. I might have mentioned these once before, but these wires go to your, uh, your headset jacks and, uh, they need to be, um, soldered to the head jacks, uh, headphone jacks and, um, they're going to fit right here because the cabin, the cabin fits right tight in this area here. This is going to go through a, a hole on the firewall and then there's going to be these four sets of wires that, that I need to solder to those headphone jacks. Um, that's no big deal. Um, but that's probably the only soldering that I know of, unless depending on what kind of radios and stuff you put in. But other than that, um, that's about it. I, I got a lot of the, the, I think I got all the, the oil lines in now. And because there's the, the oil can here, the reservoir, uh, that's all hooked up. And, uh, I guess that's probably enough for today. I think I've talked a little, uh, quite a bit now about the cyclic and collective controls. And, um, I guess we will see you in the next video. I'm going to take the camera myself and just go around a little bit. So, just show you a little bit more of what I've been doing here. It kind of gives you an idea of everything here so far. And uh, I'm just going to continue around here, kind of get everything accumulated as to what we've been doing. Still got a lot of parts laying on my table here. It's mostly all hardware. So, but anyhow, um, we're getting there. We'll talk to you in the, in the next video.